Welcome back to the channel, everyone. You read the title of this video correctly. I did get the new Milwaukee Fuel Compact Router, and I haven't even popped a battery in this thing yet or turned it on. So we're gonna look at it together. As you can see, this thing is a very compact router. It can almost fit my whole hand around it. So we're gonna look at it. I'm gonna pop the tailgate down here on the truck and do one of my famous tailgate tool reviews. Not really famous, but I do them from time to time. Anyways, we're gonna go through this thing, um, take a look, th look at the specs, take a look at the performance of it. But I will warn you, this is Sunday. This is my day to clean the truck out from working all week. And I haven't done that yet. So it's gonna be pretty dirty back here. So forgive me for that, but we're gonna get started. This is like when you tell your kids to clean up their room and they just throw everything in the closet. It's just beautiful. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is nice. All right, there's enough room to sit down and take a look at this. Oh, nice. Hey, by the way, if there's any other dually owners out there, tell me if this is bad. You see how one tire is on the concrete and one is not, and that's a pretty big gap under there. I don't know if that's good for the axle, but it's kind of a small driveway, so I park like that from time to time. So yeah, let me know if that's bad for the axle or not. Here is everything that comes in this Milwaukee compact router kit. This is the tool only kit, no battery, no charger included in this one. And they do recommend that 5.0 battery though. I'll talk about that here in a minute. So here's the specs on this. The RPMs are 10,000 to 31,000 RPMs, depth capacity, inch and a half adjustments, 1 64th increments for that, speed settings, six, call it size, quarter inch, standard sub base opening, inch and a half, height, 6.9 inches, weight, three pounds. So this is a really compact tool right here, three pounds. And just by holding the body of it in my hand, my hand almost wraps around the whole thing, just to give you an idea of the size of this thing. It is very compact, very lightweight, and I'm interested to see how it performs. But this is everything that comes in this kit. You're gonna get your operator's manual, obviously you're gonna go into everything in detail. This is a guide to guide you up against your workpiece. I'll attach that, show you how that goes on here in a little bit. This is a dust shroud, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, two wrenches, 7 16 and 11 16 These are gonna be to tighten your bit or change your bit. Two thumb screws and then a wider plate the one that it ships with on the fixed base is this plate right here. So that's it. Pretty self-explanatory on everything right here, but they do recommend the 5.0 battery. I've got one right here. Again, this does not come in the kit, but when they sent this to me, they said use a 5.0 battery for the best performance. So I got one right here and this one is charged up all the way. So we'll make this a bit of a real world kind of experiment. What I've done is I marked two inches here and two inches here. And what that represents is what I would do sometimes on like a custom door casing, or specifically if you've seen my super simple mantle video where I design a really nice looking simple mantle, I did the same thing, but with a chamfer bit. So I got two pencil lines right here on either side. I'm gonna try my best to stop at those. This is a new router for me, obviously. So hopefully I can see through there well enough and with this big roundover bit to stop there. I'll do my best for you guys. But um, let's start it off. Got my roundover in there and I'm gonna be watching dust collection to see if a lot of dust shoots out of there. But let's get it, get it going. Here we go. Smooth operation, smooth overall feel to it, first cut. And we got right on our pencil line. Let me show you what that looks like. So you can see right there that detail. And if I had it on both sides, you could see how that would look like a nice 
piece of custom casing or mantle leg. So now I've got to start right on that pencil line on the other side to make this look good because I don't want to come at it with a router this way. That would be what's known as a climb cut and there's no reason to do that. So let me see if I can do that same thing on this side. Check this out. You can see that profile now. And it took me a few times to get it here, right on the pencil line, but we got right on our pencil line here, right on our pencil line there. And that is what a custom mantle leg would look like using this trim router in a real world situation. Let's make this thing pretty low. Let's say about right there. All right, I'm gonna try this little cordless vacuum right here. We'll see how good it collects dust. Wasn't seeing a whole lot of results with that little vacuum, but figured I'd give it a shot. So I'm gonna bring out a big corded vacuum and I think I'm gonna see the results I want. So even with this larger kind of shop style vacuum, corded vacuum, there was quite a bit of dust that came out from that cut, but it's totally acceptable. I mean, you're not gonna catch every piece of dust on a tool. I, overall, I'd say the dust collection is good to go as well. All right, for example two, I've got an old hinge here. We're gonna do another real life example with this trim router. We're gonna mortise for this hinge right here. And for this, I'm taking the dust shroud off because I like to be able to see everything super clear. All right, so not too bad other than the old bit there with the tear out right there and the burn marks. But as far as me, the operator controlling this router along my pencil line, that's pretty good um, for a first try with this compact Milwaukee router right here. I'll go ahead and take out the rest of this material and we'll see how our hinge fits into place right here. Not too bad right there. Nice tight mortise. Not too bad for a first try with this little compact router. All right, quick update, so far so good. I am loving this router so far. It is performing phenomenally, two real world situations. The greatest thing about this compact router is that it cuts the cord on my other compact router, which is amazing. Having everything cordless and brushless now with this router is just gonna help me tremendously. Um, I just did two real world situations for you. Um, more seeing this hinge right here it performed very well and then on that other piece of scrap I did the um, the casing or mantle detail with the um, round over so this router makes a cut in my book there's one more test I want to do with it I was digging through my bits and I did find another Royobi bit that is not as burned out as that burned out bit right there that one is pretty much trash and ready to go I don't know if you could tell but it was smoking whenever I was mortising for that hinge. So I wanna do a, a dado through this piece of wood using the guide. So just cut a slot in this piece of wood. Now, when you think of compact routers, you don't really think of cutting dados with them. You usually think of your typical two and a half horsepower routers to get that kind of thing done. But I think this will be a nice test of the performance 
of this router. Quick commercial break. It's the guy on a go-kart right there. And look at these clouds, man. These clouds look crazy. Let's let this guy pass by and we'll get back to it. That looks crazy. Awesome clouds out here. Another thing I'm loving about this router is how quick it is to change these bits out. So you definitely want to take the battery out because I did accidentally hit this little button on earlier and it came on and I did not intend for it to come on. So all you got to do is loosen that, push this quick release that I talked about earlier, engage that spindle lock there, and then take your 11 16 wrench pop the bit in and then tighten it up and we'll drop it back in and we'll set our depth we'll do about a quarter inch dado in this thing because I don't want to just overdo it but I think that would be a nice little test right there and about three-eighths so pop the battery back in and now we'll hook up our guide. All right, so for the guide, this is gonna be the guide right here. And it just goes into this little slot right here. And then another thumb screw, just tighten it up. Make sure that sucker is tight. So now we can adjust for our workpiece, like where do we wanna make this cut? We'll just do it right down the middle, about right there. So with that, We'll tighten this down, then we're ready to make our cut. A lot of distractions today, guys. Got an ice cream truck coming over here, but the show must go on. All right, another nice clean cut with this router. You can see I, I got off to a kind of a wobbly start here. It's, it's kind of weird doing this behind a camera. The tripod's in the way. Uh, that's a clean, nice dado cut right there with this mortising bit. And man, I got no complaints on this router, for real. That guide is totally adjustable. Looks like you can adjust it. Yeah, it looks like you can adjust this thing about seven and a half inches or so from the middle of the bit there it looks appears to be but that is a nice clean cut right there totally acceptable totally professional and i did that with one hand and the other hand was holding the camera so really with ease you are a beast sir you are a beast all right, there you have it guys. That is my first time using this Milwaukee compact router. And let me just tell you, it has surpassed my expectations of what a compact little trim router should be. And this is again, my initial first impression of it, but I would say this thing is definitely, definitely something you wanna to add to your arsenal of tools, especially as a finished carpenter or woodworker where you just wanna bust out a small router, do a little round over on a piece of furniture, do a little round over maybe on a window stool or something like that. Cordless, this thing is gonna get the job done for you. I just cut this dado right here, just with ease. I'm impressed by this thing. That's what I'm trying to say. This thing is super impressive. I highly recommend it. Obviously with all these videos, when I do my first impressions, it's not been used on the job site. It's not stood to the test of time, but all my Milwaukee tools have never let me down. So that said, first impression, I give this thing an A plus, five stars. Highly recommend it. It's gonna be used a lot on our job sites here at Finished Carpentry TV. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Milwaukee, for sending me this router again. I seriously appreciate it. But until next time, like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all on the next video. Take care.